In this video, we're going to go over how to do a grid system. So if you're trying to create a large building, you could possibly use it for your house. But um, basically, grid system creates lines that help assist you when drawing walls and for other features. So in order to do that, you just go to your architecture tab up here at the top and then select within the datum selection, it says grid. So when you start a grid, first thing in your properties, uh, you can choose like three options here for the bubble type. I'm just going to go with the standard regular bubble. And then when you go to edit type, there's a couple things in here as well. So like center segment, you can change the color, um, segment weight. Um, in most cases, you're not going to change any of these, but it's a good thing to know that they are here just in case, let's say in the certification test, it asks you to change one of these. I'm just going to exit out of there and then in order to create a grid you have your draw tools, your line segment, um, arcs, a couple there as well. So I'm going to just left click, drag it straight down and then click again. That's going to place one grid and then you can use your modify tools to copy, offset, whatever it is that you need to do. But in this case I'm just going to manually draw it. So let's say I'm going to go 20 feet, click and drag it down again and you'll see the dotted blue lines appear to help you as far as making sure everything is aligned. So I'll do like say another 20 feet. I'll just do three. And then if I want to make a horizontal, I just come up here, do the exact same thing, click and drag, click and drag. So one thing we can notice though, as I continue to click, it initially starts off at, z at one. So the first grid line is one, two, three, and it's going to continue to count up um, as many that you place. So let's say for some reason you don't like a bunch of numbers, maybe the vertical grids you want to be letters. So one thing you can do is simply just left click on the grid and then click on where the, the number or letter is and you can go ahead and change what it is. So you can change these to alphabetical so that way if you have a large building you can do call outs or you know exactly where to look so you can say like B2, A3, you know exactly where to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and change those real quick. So one thing is when you have a grid line selected, so let's say I'm going to select this top one, you should see there's a bunch of couple symbols here like on the right and on the left. In most cases you're never going to touch them. So from here you have this like temporary dimension. Uh, you can click on there and change it to whatever it is that it needs to be. So maybe you did a misclick. We can type in 30 feet and it will adjust it. Okay. Um, if you select, let's say the middle one is going to give you the distance or the dimension to the next parallel line going up and then the next parallel, parallel line going down. Uh, the same thing works for the vertical lines. It will tell you what that distance is. Okay, um, but basically the grid lines, again, like I said, can help you with walls. So let's say if I jump the wall here real quick, you're going to see that you, you can snap to the line. So let's say maybe I went from middle and I wanted to go to middle, come back up here to the top and across. It can just help assist you making sure you're clicking in the proper space when either placing components, adding doors, windows, walls, columns. Um, is a big one. It's just more of an assistive help when dealing with large uh, buildings, especially commercial buildings.